Welcome, Stephen. Can you tell us what is the importance of a diverse workforce? Yeah, um, we strongly believe in the fact that, and it's uh, known that when you have a non-homogeneous workforce with people from different backgrounds, uh, different upbringings, and different uh, gender, uh, that those are those teams are better performing. Uh, it's uh, uh, they're more creative, they're more innovative. Uh, they take better care of risk and deal with risk much quicker. And in the end, therefore, for us, that's important to have these diverse teams in our organization. Um, the second point to make is that as a bank or as a big company, we are just a reflection of society. And to be that good mirror of society, we also need to make sure that we also bring those different viewpoints also in the organization if we want to deliver that best experience that we want to deliver to existing, but also to future companies. Uh, future clients. And that's why it's important to be very diverse also as a workforce in ING. Thank you. What can large companies like ING do to advance safe workplaces in difficult countries? Yeah. Different things. So um, uh, if you look at um, uh, our code of conduct, our code of conduct includes a paragraph whereby one of the elements of that code of conduct is that we foster a safe workplace, and if there is no safety, then we are encouraging people to speak up uh, uh, and and talk about it, so that we cre recreate a safe workplace. And that code of conduct is part of what we call the Orange Code. Uh, those are the principles that we work by at ING, and we live by them. But we all don't only live by them in this country, we live by them in every country in which we operate. So the first thing we can do is make sure that our values and vision of how we want people to be safe in our organization is being extended in all the areas and all the countries in which we work. That's number one. The second is how we support the LGBTIQ plus community. We can extend that to be allies. And what I mean with that is that that also means that as a, uh, as a, uh, the, the cisgender part of ING, which is the majority, then can also be drawn into it. So we actually leverage upon a big number of people to be an ally to the community. And secondly, in that community setting, when we are working in countries where people may not feel yet safe to come out, if you will, then people can be an ally of that community rather than being part of the community who so can do that when they are feel safe. Those are the things we can do, which is, first of all, make sure we are having a code of conduct and we roll that out everywhere where we operate. Two, uh, make sure we are a public ally, so speak up about it, and make sure we draw the masses of ING to that allyship.